Once again, uh, Rob Bellinger from yeah. Olympus is in the studio with us today. So today we're looking uh, basically strictly at a software product, right? Yeah, this is our Olympus Stream image analysis software. Um, this software program can be a base version for just image capture on any kind of microscope system. It can do <clears throat> standard measurements, have calibrated images, database those images, create reports in the standard format. Um, I'm going to go through a couple of those things in the software and show some of the more advanced stuff in our solution modules. Okay, well. and, and as we touched on, this is, this is um, strictly for material analysis? Um, I mean, that's the market for it? I mean, mar much. Mostly, okay. yeah. Material okay. analysis um, or just imaging, um, micro microscopy imaging okay. as well. So, in the database, um, the software comes with a uh, standard database. The database can be an enterprise level to cross the entire company and manage all different types of uh, microscopes or um, imaging workstations and such. Or it can be just the standard database on the local computer where you manage your images and you can keep track of them and search them very quickly and easily. So the way our software is laid out is in a tab format across the top. You have databases, the start off tab to get your position and where you want to save your images or load images from. Acquisition tab. This is strictly for capturing images and working with them and uh, performing image enhancements on the fly, like HDR imaging that's built into the software. You can simplify the layout very easily with some of the tool windows features, like this one here. Just capture a live image, walk someone through taking the picture, performing a measurement, and saving their images out. These can have many, many more steps, but can be guided to make it simple for operator interface. Okay, obviously we're gonna, looking at a stored image here. Stored okay. image here, yeah. Okay. And so once we capture the image, we would move to the processing tab. Processing tab is just that. You're gonna process your image. You might wanna do your manual measurements. We have the capability of doing all kinds of different point-to-point -point manual measurements, area measurements, and even in complex systems that have motorization. You can do th stitching and three-dimensional three imaging and measurements in here as well. All of these measurements can be exported, saved to the database, put in Excel, put in PowerPoints, all from our software interface. And you, can do multi you can set up to do multiple measurements, like step through multiple measurements, that, that sort of thing as well? This or? is the manual interface, so this would be, okay. as you take the measurements, it records them. Okay. Um, our solution module, we have some more automated measurement capabilities okay. I'll cover. Down below here, we do have the ability to modify your image, put text boxes, pointers, and all that kind of stuff, so it's a real, good imaging software suite. And it'll help you document it and, and so forth. Document okay. it, put scale bars on it, text boxes, that okay. kind of stuff. As you go through the more advanced features of the software, that's when we look at our solution modules. The solution modules are customized to the software for the customer's needs. They're not going to have every module. It all depends on what the customer is looking at and imaging on, what kind of material and the solution that's going to fit their needs. So some of these include grains intercept and planimetric for looking grains analysis on metal surfaces. We have layer thickness measurements. This is for cross-sectioned layers and you want to do um, a measurement of the thickness of the layers. It can be multi-layers. Okay. Cast iron and inclusions. This is for more metallurgical such. Um, cast iron you'd be looking at your graphite size. Um, inclusions is inclusions in steel mostly. So you can count and size inclusions Throwing power is more of our um, um, semiconductor, okay. looking at circuitry and a throwing power measurement off of that. Porosity, phase, and particle distribution, these three here are all counting you know, particles and phases from each other, either sizing them by their distribution, doing phase analysis on how much percentage they are compared to each other, or counting the porosity inside of a metal. No, so, so you've got a lot of me metallurgical um, uh, uh, module. modules, yes, yep. special modules in here. Is is the market for this mostly met metallurgical or also life sciences or, or where, mm -hmm. where does this uh, software go into usually? Sure, this software is driven and dedicated for industrial solutions, so metallurgical mostly. Um, Olympus offers an entirely different life science suite of software okay. that has its own different solution modules for that, cells imaging and certain things like that, but this is driven for metallurgical, semiconductor, electrical, um, medical device, kind okay. of parts measurements and all that kind of stuff, and that's what these solution modules are driven towards. Um, I mentioned earlier the automatic measurement. I actually showed this on a previous show. Okay. This has the ability with motorized staging on your microscope to do automatic measurements and step through those measurements and capture them based on like um, um, 
pattern recognition. Okay. Um, coding thickness is our last solution module. Coding thickness is like the picture we have on the screen here, where you're doing, um, they call it call it measurements, where they take a, a ball grinder of a certain diameter and grind through layers, and you want to measure the thickness of those layers. So the way that works is, is, is you have this, so. this ball grinder, and obviously... It's a tool, yeah. It's going to, mm -hmm. if you were to look at a cross-section of this, it would look like, a, a, it'd be U-shaped. It'd be con sure. concave, right? After it's okay. been grinded, yeah. yeah. So without having a cross section, you can grind down through and see the different layers and take a measurement. So I kind of want to show the solution module and how they are um, interface with them and how easy the solution modules are to use. So I'll go ahead and run through this one, the coding thickness. It is set up to where you have instructions at the top. They're very large button interfaces and you kind of walk through the steps. It guides a user on how to perform the measurements or how to make the next uh, adjustment to any of the filters. So you can get different image sources. Once you select that, you walk through, you can insert sample information, detailed comments in your solution module, make the selections of the different uh, types of materials that you're using, make sure you type in the ball size for this solution module. Pretty to know. Yep. <laughs> And when you hit next, you physically come out here and interact and take the measurement. So it's saying measure the diameter of the outer contour. So we can come out and take the three points of measurements of this outer contour. And then as we go through, we just take the inner layer and the next layer. Okay. And when we're done, since we defined that it had two layers, it's going to give us our coating thicknesses. Now that we have the information, what is it going to do with it? It's going to let us either generate a report, generate a workbook. All of this information can be exported out to Word, put into a PowerPoint right from our software with the uh, add-in module. You also have the database where it stores all the information. So when we're finished, you can see that a workbook is generated with the measurement values, and we also have all of the information generated out to Microsoft Word. Uh, can, can you zoom into that um, or make that picture bigger? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's just do page width. There we go. So you can see the overlays put on there, scale bars, everything's. Um, also, the results, yep. the results of the measurements are, are there on, on the screen as well. Results at the top okay. and down here at the bottom, the individual layer thicknesses. And is this is this modifiable? Is this report modifiable? The templates are customizable, okay. of course, and they're just templates in Microsoft Word, so they're very easy to customize. Okay, sure. and so you um, put your logo at the top or what, whatever you want to do with absolutely, it. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Okay. You have the very first page. Typically, is where you know a logo could go in the header. You just okay, you just modify the, the way you need. Yep. Okay. Yep. And they just load in from our software, and our software has a direct interface into Microsoft Word. Uh, once you create this, again, goes right back into the database and saves the Word document for you. Okay. And this is uh, obviously we saw this on stored image. Uh, this will work uh, with a live with images. an actual microscope and work with live images. Absolutely. Well, right? So okay. one of the image sources in all of the solution modules, you can do multiple image saved from the database and load in a hundred of them and do batch processing. Okay. Or you can do one image at a time right from a live image. You a lot of these solution modules when you have the motorized stage and automation attached to your microscope, it's going to control that and it can drive the stage around and take the pictures automatically. And we call that stage path function, and it goes through and captures those images and then processes them. And, and this the is a, a, a standalone or enterprise, right? Uh, this the, can the be, software? This can be a standalone one station type thing, or the software can be, yeah. And with a shared, well, I think you mentioned with a shared database, is that? Shared database, network licensing, okay. all that kind of stuff, of course. All right, uh, great. So this is the Olympus, Olympus Stream. Olympus Stream, yep, uh, image material analysis. Anal uh, uh, material, uh, material analysis, image analysis. What's we, we mostly say image analysis software, yeah. Okay, great. Rob, thanks for being with yep. us. Thank you.